We've named a new dinosaur, Moabasaurus utahensis. It has a long neck, a long tail, a huge elephant-like body. It's about 10 meters long, but that's small for a sauropod. We collected it near Moab, Utah, at a site called Dalton Wells. We've pulled over 5,500 bones from this one site, most of them belonging to this animal. So this is the humerus. This is from the left side. It's this bone right here. Look at these bones. You can learn all kinds of things about them. Uh, you can tell the angle they held their arms in or out at by looking at the bevel down here. So we have 18 individuals based on these brain cases we found. This would be where it hooks up to the vertebra. This is where the brain would be. And the brain extends only from here to here. It's the size of a Chinese egg roll. They have small brains. They were herbivores. They have very coarse teeth. And these were not useful for chewing the food. They were just useful for biting the food off and then swallowing it. So 125 million years ago, when these animals died, there was a drought. And during this drought, hundreds, if not maybe a thousand or so animals died. The surviving animals walked along and crushed these bones. And that's why only 3% of the bones we collected this quarry are actually complete. It was found near Moab, Utah, so we honor the city for that. A paleontologist would think of Moab as a gold mine of dinosaur bones. We're really excited about this new dinosaur. It's one we've been working on for decades. We had to collect huge numbers of bones in order to get enough that were complete to describe the new animal. So we're thrilled to now have them all together and hang a name on this fellow, Moabasaurus utahensis.